It's kind of like that old Chinese proverb which says, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. However, if you teach a man to fish, he will eat for a lifetime. And the purpose behind We Can So You Can is to be as impactful as we possibly can. You're listening to Hops News, the trusted source in beer culture news. Welcome your hosts, Brother Lee Love and Jay Brew. All right, everybody, here's another episode of Hops News, and we're bringing in Sean Spiegelman of the We Can So You Can Foundation. Jay Brew, what's going on? Yeah, man, we're bringing in Sean Spiegelman. He's the CEO of the We Can So You Can Foundation. He's going to tell us about the awesome stuff that those guys are doing over there. Uh huh. And don't forget, at the end of the episode, we got the brewery swag giveaway for one of the lucky listeners. Yes. So stick around for that. You definitely right. don't want to miss out on that. We love brewery swag Man. all day, every day. All right. So listen, stick around, get your brewery swag and see what's happening with these organizations and what they're doing for the community. Yeah, we're going to take a short break and be right back. Welcome back from the break. Here's Brother Lee Love and Jay Brew. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Hops News, your trusted name, Beer Culture. You're with your hosts, Brother Lee Love and Jay Brew. And right now, we have the pleasure of having the Chief Executive Officer, Sean Sean Spiegelman, to join us right now on the show. Pleasure, gentlemen. Thank you very much for having me. Uh, I appreciate appreciate the opportunity. for uh, me to come on and talk about our organization and uh, the good works that we're doing. Awesome. Well, first and foremost, Sean, just uh, give the listeners a little bit of taste about who you are. And, and then from there, we'll go into exactly what the We Can So You Can Foundation is all about and what you all are doing in the community. Absolutely. So I think it's probably most fitting since we are uh, going to be chatting about beer and the culture of beer and um, how uh, breweries are playing in the philanthropic space for uh, for you to join me for my liquid lunch. Mm-hmm. Pretty appropriate. Cheers to that. I can't say that we're not doing the same thing. <laughs> oh, <so>. yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All in one accord. We're cheers to that, brother. Thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. Uh, so to kick it yeah, off, so, my name is Sean. Yeah, Spiegel- go ahead. My name is Sean Spiegelman, and I'm the CEO and the executive director of We Can So You Can foundation uh we are a 501c3 nonprofit um to kind of step it up or uh, to lay out the playing field um, i was born in queens new york i grew up uh, in a middle class family uh spent a lot of time as a child traveling uh to the city with my father who was on the american stock exchange as an options trader uh, i got to see firsthand um, how hard life could be uh, cuz Ground Zero, as they call it, um, is New York City in the difficulties that people can have and, you know, the the missed opportunities and how things can go wrong. And there's nothing more positive for me growing up than watching my father put out his hand, help somebody, uh, whether it's to pick them up, whether it's to buy them a cup of coffee, um, give them some money so they can get something to eat. Uh, It played a big impact on me as a child. And I didn't realize how big that was until I was old enough myself with children to realize how, mm-hmm. si- how significant, um, especially in today's times, things are for everyone to realize that we have this common thread that ties us all together and um, it's humanity. So, for sure, you know, to, to take a step forward, um, I'm a disabled veteran. Uh, for the United States Marine Corps. Um, I was a recon Marine. I spent some time um, serving my country. And through that process, um, it also helped me to realize when I got out of the Marine Corps, how so many veterans and disabled veterans were coming out without certain necessary skills, whether they be uh, physical skills, social skills, um, financial skills, to 
take that civilian life on. And we'll get back, to, we'll get to that later on also about how we can, so you can, as working in the veteran space um, of what we feel mm-hmm. like can be the biggest impact. So right. um, we can, so you can, uh, North Carolina based up here in uh, Boone. Uh, my wife, Stephanie, my two children, Samantha and Steven, um, come to be a big part of the community up here um, through many different um, uh, avenues, uh, like working with Blood, Sweat, and Gears, which I happen to be sitting on the board now. Um, it's a um, philanthropic-based ride, 50 and 100-mile ride. Right. And the goal of that ride is to take all of the earned sales through the entry fees and donate it back into the community here in the high country. So right. another big part that um, is, a, is a really humbling opportunity for me to sit on another uh, nonprofit here locally, as well as um, I sit on the board of Purple Heart Homes, which a lot of people don't know about, but um, kind of focused on providing housing solutions for service-connected disabled veterans and their families. Um, so another thing that's really looking at how my mindset develops around social impact that's happening up here in the high country. And I know that it's existing right. everywhere else. So, um, well, that gives you a little bit of a background about uh, Sean Spiegelman and the We Can So You Can Foundation. So, kind of- yeah, Sean. So it sounds like it sounds like you're a lot like the rest of the people that are involved in nonprofit organizations. You get involved in one, and the next thing you know, there's a snowball effect. Um, you're involved in several of them and, and pulled in several different directions. So you kind of give us a, a little bit of an overview of the other organizations. Um, can you talk a little bit specifically about what We Can So You Can Foundation does and what their mission may be? Yeah, so <clears throat> We Can So You Can Foundation, um, it's a fundraising nonprofit with a mission to look at the social and environmental impacts that are affecting humanity today and how Mm -hmm. we can through like the name sounds um, through a few different focused approaches that happen to deal in education, agriculture and um, incubator, incubator investing to improve the lives of people that we come in contact with. So, you know, not not to um, take quotes from other people, but, you know, Lao Tzu said a journey of a thousand miles begins with the first step. And that happened for, sure. that happened for me many, many years ago, you know, and now, right. t- now today, looking at the problems um, that, you know, plague our, the high country specifically, you know, we made the decision to be as surgical as we can and look at issues that are happening, in education, issues that are happening around agriculture and then the biggest part is how can we invest in like-minded concepts, companies, work with other uh, local breweries, businesses, nonprofits to help, cr- right. to help create a uh, kind of like the next step of what I look at and say, okay, if we wanted to be charity-based and, and just give, which is great and it's very honorable, it's kind of like that old Chinese proverb which says, if you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. However, if you teach a man to fish, he will eat for a lifetime. And mm-hmm. the purpose behind We Can So You Can is to be as impactful as we possibly can through looking at investing, empowering youth, you know, in, in the field of in the field of education with their kids, looking at what's affecting them, what's affecting the household um, on the agricultural mm-hmm. on the agricultural side you know, looking at the food system and how it's affecting the the youth of today and how those effects will be down the road and getting involved in the farm to table movement, um, things like farm camp, you know, going out, spending the time, teaching them about soil structures, helping them to to plant food um, so that they can help to nourish their body and understand how that life cycle works. So, So, Sean, yeah. So quick question. So to to bring it down for people like myself who are pretty visual. So that the action you, you spoke about getting involved. So 
being a person who walks into one of the, the breweries that we can so you can collaborate with, right? And they want to know, okay, so how am I giving back while I'm here? Or how am I giving back? And it seems like um, when the person walks into a brewery that you're doing a collaboration with and they are handed a beer and, and they understand uh, part of them buying that beer is also a, a contribution to the, the organizations that you all are tied to what we can. So you can. Could you could you explain that a little bit? Like I walk into a brewery and I order a beer and then what happens? So. So to take that example to the next step, a brewery would decide a percentage or an amount that they would like to donate from the sales of that beer. So in effect, the beer actually becomes a tool or a conduit mm-hmm. or a conduit to work right. to work into the community, right? So you know, we work with a local brewery, for example, and we did a kickball tournament for the Watauga County Special Olympics. That kickball tournament ended up raising two thousand dollars for the Special Olympics. Um, right. We did a th- we we worked with uh, the Boone Police Department, and mm-hmm. the police officers were committed to the North Carolina Special Olympics, and they went out and they rode the entire parkway. Some of their police officers, and there was a commitment of twenty five cents per mile. So it can right. it can be an open commitment. It can be something that gets quantified um, because obviously, you know, everyone's working really hard in the beer industry to keep the lights on and every dollar counts. Uh, But there's ways, no matter how big or no matter how small, to have an impact. So, you know, we can't, so you can. uh, We pride ourselves on being able to measure the impact by quantifying what it is that our goals. So it's a big thing of saying that our actions need to match our expectations. All right. Definitely. So definitely, you know, the, um, another example is, uh, there's a project called, uh, camp healing waters, which is focused on healing the veteran and their families for using fly fishing. And we got to, we were able to get involved and bring in professors, bring in Tai Chi instructors, bring in, um, financial advisors to help work with these veterans that need the help, but they typically don't know how to ask because it's not, Mm -hmm. it's not very easy to ask for help in life. So, so we work with the brewery breweries. If we walk into one uh, that was interested in working with, we can, so you can and saying, what are the greatest needs that are happening in your local community? How can we help to become knowledgeable on those needs, develop a specific strategy, and then execute on that strategy so that that, that, sure. that business, that brewery, that nonprofit can have the greatest impact on the community where it is. And whether it's a, whether it's a small local community or it's a regional cause or a regional, mm-hmm. or a regional brewery, there's no limit other than the limits that we put upon ourselves. So... Right. Well, well, Sean, uh, real, real quick thing. I wanted to, you know, to first of all, uh, thank you for putting in the effort and the work and the follow through uh, behind what you're doing with the We Can So You Can. Like that is our ultimate goal here um, with Hops News is to uh, bring in people like yourself and organizations because we have a choice to make a positive impact with whatever we do. And the conversation is around uh, beer, but also everything in every community that is, extends beyond that and that's connected to it. And as far as getting involved, you know, people, people want to know, OK, when I go and support a brewery and I support a nonprofit, I want to know that, I'm, you know, it's great to have a, a, a great beer and great liquid in my glass. But I want to know that it's being um, extended to something that I believe in. So where, where can people go to, to, to find more information, how they can get involved and not just with the pint or with the can, but how can they get physically involved if they're here living in a high country uh, um, or living wherever you are? Um, how can they get involved? What, what outlets can they go to so that they can get involved where we can so you can? Good question. So 
any individual uh, brewery, business, nonprofit that wants to get involved with We Can So You Can and use the products that they make or the services that they provide, which they earn revenue through, <clears throat> to be able to kind of carve off something in their works and say, hey, how do I use this now to give back? Yeah. It's real, it's real simple. You go to wecansoyoucan.org. There's a mm -hmm. little bit of an explanation about we can and what we're doing there. There's a form at the bottom, just a couple lines, fill out your name, fill out your email address that we can get back to you on because that's all we're going to have. And then there's a comment box. Put in a phone number. Tell us about yourself. Tell us about your business. Send us your website. Give us all the information you can so we can look at that and figure out a way that we can work with you so that you can work with your local communities to have the greatest impact on humanity. So awesome. So I really appreciate uh, the opportunity uh, to tell the public out there about what we can is doing, how you can work with us. Um, you know, we're always learning. That's something that I learned in life, right? We're not perfect. Oh, yeah. We're not perfect. We're always learning. You know, we have some of the recipes of success. We don't have all the recipes. So we're, we're interested in not just telling you how you could do it, but sometimes we learn the most from the partners that we actually partner with and become even more educated and more impactful. So together, as we string this kind of common thread that exists through all of us, I believe that We Can So You Can Foundation can have a very, very large sweeping impact across the entire country. And all it takes is one person getting on that website, filling it out, making a choice, and ultimately at the end of the day, allowing people to feel like that they're giving back by helping that local brewery, helping their own community. All right. So there you have it, folks. We can, so you can dot org. If you feel like what's going on in your nonprofit or business or what's going on in your community is running parallel with that mission statement to, to help out and further that good in the community and build that common thread. You can do that. You can go to your computer or your phone, just log in to we can, so you can dot org. Yeah, definitely. Uh, definitely sounds like you got a mission that's, that's bigger than e than any individual. And that's, uh, definitely appreciated. And we, we appreciate you taking your time out of your day to join us today and tell us a little bit more about we can, so you can. Yeah. Thank you very much, gentlemen. I appreciate you. Jay Brew, Brother Love, thank you so much for your time right. Your time today. Um, it, we're very humbled that you would actually have us on here and want us to be part of it and spread the good word. Thank you. All right. Uh, Sean Spiegelman uh, from We Can So You Can, thanks for blessing us with, uh, with what you're doing and making this show better, making this world better. And we are out. Cheers. Yeah, we'll take it to break real quick and come back. And don't forget to join us for the giveaways we got coming up with some uh, brewery swag. So join us just a second. All righty. Welcome back from the break. Here's Brother Lee Love and Jay Brew. All right, everybody. Welcome back from the break. It was great hearing from Sean at uh, We Can So You Can Foundation. And right now we're gonna bring it to our loyal listeners with some giveaways. Jay Brew, what Yeah, you man, you know how it is. Paying it forward for those loyal listeners. We've got a, uh, a brewery swag bundle by the We Can So You Can Foundation. And this, this episode, our Twitter follower is gonna be Jen at DE Nutrients. Jen at DE Nutrients. Hey Jen. And Facebook. Yeah, you might want to hook up with old brotherly love. Hey, Jen. Look him up. Look How him you up. doing, girl? Uh huh. <laughs> you doing what you doing, Jen? Yeah, that's it. And we, we have you, uh, we have Facebook follower Jerry Daniels. Jerry Daniels. You guys have seven days to contact us, and you can contact us through any of our social media platforms, or you can contact us via email at hopsnewspod at gmail.com hopsnewspod at gmail.com that's it brother and if you guys want to follow us on any of the social media and be entered for your chance to win follow us on twitter and on our facebook page at hopsnews at hopsnews it's that easy mm -hmm. and you'll be entered for the next episode to get an awesome swag bundle all right 
Spread the word. Tell a friend. Spread the word. Tell yeah, a friend. and if you guys know of any awesome breweries in your area or nonprofits working closely with them, we'd love to hear about them. So let us know so we can get them on the get them on the show and uh, spread their 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 awesomeness and create some awareness for those organizations. Again, appreciate you listening. We look forward to the next episode. Cheers. Cheers. Hops News is a weekend so you can foundation a production. We Can So You Can Foundation supports the communities it serves through investment in social-minded businesses, engaged primarily in education, veteran services, and affordable housing. To learn more about the We Can So You Can Foundation, please visit wecansoyoucan.org. Thank you for listening. <laughs>